you know. So, <clears throat> uh, let's just uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a take a deep breath in, just noticing where you are, uh, noticing the space around you, just noticing you. Welcome. Uh, for those who are new, for those who have been here before, you know, uh, you know the routine. We get into those deeper states, uh, but this time around, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, commotion or chaos uh, that's going on in the world. Uh, you know, uh, well, presidents uh, is changing hands, uh, dictatorships changing hands. There's a lot of power, say, changing hands, uh, and that's really the key. Uh, this moss on Sundays, we're going to be talking about jealousy. Uh, and well, the way the format goes before I get into what I'm sensing in the world and then the group as well is that um, uh, the format of the show. So the format of the show is is where I s analyze you, and I, I don't need uh, anything. All you have to do is is you know comment in. Hey, can you analyze me? And it doesn't really matter. Uh, <clears throat> you know, about your name and all that stuff, uh, I can just analyze you. I can read your, um, your uh, I, I call it your blueprint or your signature, your frequency signature, simple as that. Um, again, I don't need your name, picture, or anything like that, uh, and I'm very accurate at it. Uh, the way I can do that is through two near-death experiences, okay? Um, so it's given me abilities, which we all have. I just managed to hone it uh, very intensely. Uh, as many of you have noticed, to change your uh, change your life radically, so way beyond psychology um, or anything that's out there, self anything self improvement, psychology, surgeries, whatever it might be, it doesn't really matter. Uh, again, this goes way beyond because it's a whole different technology that doesn't come from this reality. That's why it's so say efficient and so so damn fast, uh, mind blowing fast. Even even for me that have. Um, you know, worked on a hundred thousand individuals, uh, probably more now, on helping people change lives. Right? Uh, this is where people age younger. This is where people uh, recover from, uh, you know, terminally ill diseases or you know, mental instabilities or uh, you know, they gain massive wealth. Uh, and I'm not saying I cure anybody or anything like that. Um, uh, and neither does Western medicine, Eastern medicine, success mechanisms that are out there. They don't do anything. They don't do shit either. But what I do best is that I allow you to awaken to your natural uh, component of who, who you are. And that natural being or component of who you are is, well, uh, uh, optimal, your best possible self. So, so again... Uh, uh, once you awaken your internal self, then, you know, Western medicine, then money, then self-improvement, then psychology or prayer and, and, you know, religions and spirituality and being a nice guy and all that uh, really work out well. So uh, really fantastic. So, so before I get started, you know, because of the world we live in, uh, I have to read this. This is Masajati with Exponential Intelligence, Sunday, January 24th, 2021. Uh, I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, I don't uh, diagnose. I don't diagnose or heal. Uh, I can scan your frequency signature and tell you uh, what I see. So please consult your uh, doctors for professional advice. Um, if you ask to be scanned today, you are agreeing that we may use your session on any public media to help inspire others. So remember, uh, if you don't want us to share your session then don't ask to be scanned. It's pretty straightforward, okay? Uh, and then all contents are, are protected uh, by copyright. So you may not use our content in any way, shape, or form for any purpose uh, without uh, written intention. So uh, again, a lot of legalities and so on like that in this consciousness, which doesn't really have to be uh, because we're not human here. We're not human at this level. We're always fighting and, you know, we're far, far worse than animals, at, at least... Animals have an infrastructure, uh, and then there's an honor mechanism, but uh, humans don't. And that's why, uh, you know, if you look at the website, uh, or not not my website, but if you look on Google and all that stuff, you see all this crazy shit about me. Uh, none of it is true. It's just a, you know, it's just a person that's, uh, uh, well, crazy, basically. So uh, that's the mechanisms of success, or that's the key that you've been, you know, you've come to a successful level. 
So uh, many of you, I talk about that because many of you, as you've awakened, the truth has always been, well, one, ridiculed, uh, then two, uh, extremely criticized, and that's where we are in this, say, realm, extremely criticized, uh, and then uh, it's, it's embraced. So we're f transitioning from um, truth being extremely ridiculed uh, and um, well, uh, almost people put to death, you know, uh, into again an, an awakening moment, and that's why there's an exchange of power. You might see that exchange of power from, uh, you know, again, exchange of presidents or dictatorship or, uh, you know, ruling class or kings or, you know, family members, whatever it might be. But in reality, at a higher level consciousness, the reason why that's available to us is that, well, uh, just that it's an exchange of power into or transitioning into another consciousness uh, where truth resides. So truth uh, actually becomes uh, awakened. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about truth um, in this session, but um, we're going to be talking about jealousy, which is actually uh, a bit of truth uh, coming forward. Um, but, uh, again, I like to do these live so we can keep up with what's happening in the world and get you at an optimized level so you understand um, and take opportunity of what's happening uh, like right here, right now for you. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, again, for those individuals who want to be analyzed, uh, the way that happens, uh, the science way, because I'm a very scientific kind of guy. By the way, what I do can be duplicated over and over again. Uh, it, it can be recreated. Uh, it doesn't, uh, unlike science, that the exact same, you know, scenario has to happen for it to happen, which isn't real science. Um, this is very scientific. It's even more science than, say, the normal, say, logic or cognition of science. Uh, this can be duplicated over and over again in, in many scenarios or many environments, and you get the same result uh, in awakening. So. Uh, the science behind it is uh, everybody, you say, generates a certain frequency. We're all frequencies. Uh, I can tap into that frequency, okay, uh, and then analyze you. Simple as that. Uh, the way I do that is that uh, you might call it extrasensory perceptions. It's not intuition or anything like that. Uh, but say your 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 hearing. You know, a dog hears at much, much higher levels than what we do. You know, say a dog whistle, for example, right? Uh, we can't hear anything. Doesn't mean that it doesn't, that sound that just got, you know, just emanated from that whistle, uh, it's not there. The whistle doesn't work. The dogs hear it, right? So the same thing with uh, as your abilities expand, uh, like-minded and many of yours. So uh, again, congratulations. Uh, what happens is your sensory perceptions, your five senses expand. So it's not intuition, which is again a, a channeling uh, of, 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 of something. Uh, it, it's more of uh, being aware, highly aware of what this reality is about. So I can see, I can sense, uh, and it's, more, it's a knowing. Okay? So I can tap into anybody uh, and will scan you. And, and um, you know, for your benefit, not, not necessarily mine, uh, if I read you, uh, if, if I read you, uh, please comment back, okay, and uh, tell me how accurate I was. Uh, in, the, in the near future, uh, there'll be drawings on where somebody can actually, we'll, we'll pull somebody online on stage, and then we can talk back and forth, so we can converse, and then we can see. Um, and, and I'm not here to impress you, by the way. I've worked on enough people. I've had enough results. So I, know, so I, know, I know what I do. Uh, but for many of you who are new, uh, it allows you to awaken and go, wow, you know, what's the underlying, say, reality or the underlying blueprint that, uh, that creates this reality, right? And, and how does he tap into that? It's like, how can I tap into that? So that consciousness or um, the possibilities open up for you. And then for those who have been here before with your abilities opening up, you get to hone your abilities. So, so, so that's why. So again, please comment back. This one is on uh, Mini G. Uh, and that's all I know. Uh, Mini G Moss, please scan me and my boyfriend. Thank you. Uh, uh, again, the way I know is that just that, say, frequency leaves, say, a presence or an essence of you. It leaves a trace of you. Okay? No matter what you do, what you think, it leaves a trace of you. <clears throat> Your signature is on it. Uh, I can tap into that 
signature. Simple as that. So uh, with you, Minnie, um, with you and your boyfriend, uh, again, what's happening is that um, in the past you used to be, say, the masculine um, individual in the relationship. Uh, so you were always, so basically what that would mean is that you'd be the support individual, you know, you would you know, put things together, you'd get, um, again, uh, a support mechanism, not necessarily like finances or, you know, anything like that, but it doesn't matter. You'd, you're the masculine, you're the one that holds, say, that relationship up or together. And, uh, well, uh, as you've awakened uh, and as you, say, uh, come into your higher version of who you are, uh, say, a strong woman rather than a, a masculine version, and I can't read you um, as as say quickly uh, because which is a good thing for you because your file system of your old self has been say stored away so there's a whole new file system so congratulations on that huh? so literally what that means it's it's a whole new life whole new possibilities your health issues and all that uh, are say uh, changing as well so basically aging younger so really nice job so uh, on this last piece uh, um, uh, again, you're transitioning into, say, a stronger woman, uh, which which dictates that your partner has to become a stronger man. So your partner, uh, yeah. So your partner has to start shifting as well, uh, because well, your environment that you're creating around you, because everybody creates their environment around you. Hey, you might go, well, it's their fault, or I've gotten abused, and it's their fault. Yes, uh, yes, I'm sure that's happened, not to you, Minnie, but to other individuals. And, you know, I'm not blaming anybody, but again, you're rendering your environment here. Uh, there's a component in you that, say, allows for uh, abuse. And again, it's not you, Minnie, but there's a lot. Um, as I'm speaking, uh, my duplicates, uh, or another presence of, of me, uh, are putting you into categories, all of you by the way. So who's ever on the call, uh, I'll be working on you, whether I talk to you one-on-one -on -one or not, as long as you stay in the presence and be in the moment, uh, I'll be, you'll feel those frequencies. All right. So it's beneficial for you. So for, uh, and again, for, with Minnie working on her, if you're of similar frequencies, well, it's even more powerful. So, so again, Minnie, you're transitioning from, um, um, uh, a more masculine, you know, protecting your space version to being a more free, uh, expansive, say, X, I would call XI woman or a strong woman, <clears throat> you know, in being, you know, being a free woman in today's society, you know, defines us like, well, shit, I can wear anything I want, you know, and this and that. Uh, um, uh, you really can't. Uh, you do that. I mean, you can, uh, you do that, but you get abused uh, at a different level. Simple as that, you know. So kind of like the Me Too movement, and again, no offense against them, uh, but that chains women as well. This is like actual freedom uh, because it's not about external uh, situations that bind you. It's internal situations that bind you. So, so uh, again, congratulations, uh, Minnie. And, and this is where relationships really say, um, really start to say, uh, uh, blossom. And that's what you're doing too, as well, Minnie. You're blossoming. Your boyfriend has to just catch up on that. Okay. Uh, 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 this is C. Will Moss. Can we recognize uh, when we're in old patterns? Uh, I would like to get better at this and, and clean them out faster. Yes, sure. Uh, and by the way, if I'm reading you, analyzing you, I'm, 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 I'm helping you rewire yourself. So, so for Minnie, I was helping you really own becoming that strong XI woman. Uh, we'll be doing a whole um, relationship series coming up for um, uh, Valentine's Day, by the way. So, uh, yes, again, C. Wilmoth, uh, can we recognize uh, when we're in old patterns? Uh, you should be able to, uh, again, not looking outwards. Your, your issue is that, you know, you're here, and again, you've done fantastic, you've transformed quite a bit, but you're always going, okay, it's really fantastic. I've transformed quite a bit, but then what's the next step, the next step, the next step. So uh, let's just take a deep breath in and let's just push you, pull you into this step, uh, what's happening now. Uh, and you can see the future uh, from the present moment. Most people want to escape the present moment and go into the future. Uh, and that's a pattern of your past, by the way, uh, that you sh that you're um, that you're ready to eliminate. So that's why that question shows up. And then once you do, 
uh, you know, changing a habit or uh, accomplishing a goal. When you're when you're in point A, for example, <clears throat> right? You're at point A, and you want something outside of you. Whether it's changing something like a habit, or you know, your money situation, or a relationship. You're point A. You want to go to point, you know, B or Z, whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter how far. Um, to get to point, the present moment time is always point A. It never changes, um, but your your goal is always outside of present moment time. So that's why you lose yourself uh, and you become blind uh, to 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 the situation around you. Right. That's why when somebody has say a fervent goal, they might go, God, they're you know they're so in the zone. Uh, but again, they destroy themselves once they reach that goal, and that goal is not worthy. Uh, of accomplishing once they reach it. The reason why is, uh, or people, again, in this case, try to escape. Um, in this case, it's because of excitement. It's like, what's the next step, the next step? But uh, what you want to do is stay in point A and then expand like a sphere. Just imagine you in a balloon, and then that balloon or that sphere say, expands bigger and bigger till you get to point A or point Z. Just imagine how more expansive you feel. Okay? rather than feeling lost going, again, uh, linear, point A uh, to point whatever, point B or C. So that's where you are, my friend. So for you, um, uh, just pulling you back in to, 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 um, uh, to really uh, understand, say, the grandness, because, you know, the present moment time uh, has all the power in the world. Everybody wants the future. Uh, you really don't. Uh, you want the present moment. Uh, this one is uh, Dr. J. Redmond. Uh, good morning, Moss. Uh, can you talk to me about my career trajectory? Uh, I, I'm interviewing with a company all day tomorrow. Sure. So, um, you know, your uh, identity or how you see yourself uh, has really changed, which is really fantastic. Again, um, um, it, it's you uh, that's talking. Uh, in the past, uh, what you would do, uh, even, and I think maybe, uh, you know, if, if you're a doctor, I'm not sure exactly the doctor of what, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you, <clears throat> um, you know, people like, for example, um, uh, and again, you're not a psychologist, but say that people have become a psychologist or, you know, they want to go help the whales or whatever. Uh, what they do is that they do that because they want to go help themselves. So most, say, psychologists become um, some somebody to help themselves. Simple as that. But it never, they can never really do that, um, or it never works out for them because they don't understand the internal frequencies or, again, the XI frequencies. Uh, so I, I say that because, uh, you know, you've created an identity by saying, uh, I'm a doctor, so that's an identity. Otherwise, you wouldn't know who you are. Uh, and even being a doctor, uh, you know, without exponential intelligence, uh, you are still kind of lost. Now you're really defining who you are, which is really fantastic. Uh, the interview uh, goes really well. Um, do you, yeah, you get the job. They're really interested in you. Uh, and But the, the, the key is for you uh, is that as you interview uh, and as they ask these questions, it defines who you are even more. So that, so even if you say you don't get the job, uh, you, you walk away going, shit, I found out who I am. And you're not going to shortchange yourself. Because back in the day, what you would do is you would read people or analyze people. And it's like, okay, what do they like? You know, what is this person like? And I'll be just like them because I'm too insecure. Um, you know, I'm too insecure to be uh, myself. So now it's like, hell, uh, I'm going to be myself. Uh, I'm going to represent who I am. I'm going to speak uh, my thoughts uh, clearly without trying to guess or trying to sugarcoat it and all that stuff. Um, and, and in today's world, that's what we need. You know, people, more and more people like you really, you know, um, uh, really showing uh, their self worth, their self, you know, their self, uh, their best self, uh, and now you can do that. So at an interview, you not only impress yourself, uh, which is uh, again, you you impress um, uh, the interviewers as well. It's like, damn, this is this is a person. But um, and many people who have had you know XI training, they get the interviews. They might not have. Uh, the the say the best um, qualities for the job, you know the best training whatever for the job, but the person is so real 
that's like shit. You know, that person I've never seen anybody like that, uh, you know, who's more, who's solid, uh, and then you know they get the job over others. So, uh, so again, congratulations. Um, this one is uh, Solonga, Solong uh, Moray. Sorry, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Uh, must please scan. Uh, can you uh, scan my back and my Achilles? Uh, hurt these days? Uh, yes. Uh, you look so radiant today. Thank you so much. Um, um, so, um, uh, by the way, for those who are new, I'm 60 years old uh, and I'm aging younger and younger. I'm the best shape I've ever been. Uh, actually, my blood and all that, you know, heart uh, is of a 25 year old. So, uh, you can all do that. Uh, we're doing that on Total Human Reset coming up. It's a Total Human Reset project, uh, and that's in February. Uh, we've got a call, Q&A call, coming up after this, 11 o'clock central time. So take a look at the website uh, for that if you're interested on how to transform your life in 18 days, uh, actually about 20 days, uh, transform your life in, in 20 days, all aspects of your life. Uh, this module uh, of the Total Human Reset is going to be on wealth. So uh, how to understand spherical wealth, where, you know, you're abundant in all aspects, not just, you know, paper money. Uh, for you, uh, what's happening is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of pain uh, that's coming out of you. Uh, you've really, ch uh, again, congratulations. Uh, so you've really changed quite a bit. And you're going into the phases where it's like, well, do I have to really uh, age uh, like... Um, uh, I don't. I don't think your mom raised you, or your mom wasn't your mom. Your mom feels like your aunt, or something like that. Um, and so, 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 whoever that is, you know, your hereditary patterns, um, you know, the way you look or the way your back structure is, is of them. So now, what's happening is that you're releasing that pattern. So even the way you age, uh, you're looking at it. It's like shit. I don't have to age like that. Uh, I just don't, I don't age like that, or I'm not going to age like that. There's something about you, like, putting your foot down as well. So, I, I, so in, at the level that you're at, uh, put your foot down. Even if you, you know, you're, you know, you look, uh, you, uh, you might feel like a bitch or whatever it might be, you know, you, you need to put your foot down. Uh, because in the past, people would just, like, they would use you as a rug to rub, uh, to clean their emotionally dirty shoes. Uh, let's just put it that way on you. So now, uh, again, you're taking all that back uh, and you're releasing all the pains and burdens uh, of your back um, yeah, uh, from other people. So that's, it's a release. Um, at a physical level, what you want to do is really stretch out because your left side, uh, going into, uh, again, the left uh, Achilles, from what I'm saying, yeah, it kind of goes, it kind of goes, yeah. Um, so it's like a pain that goes from your shoulders, you know, left shoulder, it goes like this into your hips and then down. Uh, so, so it's almost like, uh, in your family, and again, not a doctor, but just telling you what I see, I could be way off. Um, in your family, what happens is the nerves, uh, your nerves start to get shorter or basically not as elastic. And, and that's where like pain, severe pain for uh, some of your other family members and so on, or, um, yeah, um, yeah. So as the nerve or the nerve sheathing kind of dries out, uh, it gets less stretchy and that's where uh, the pain goes, uh, or the numbing pain, uh, from what I'm seeing in some of your elders, uh, that aspect of it, um, is releasing from you as it releases, it's going to heighten. So I would suggest, um, not eating sugars, uh, especially, um, uh, because that's almost like a nail polish remover from what I'm seeing for your the sheathing of the nerves for you especially uh, not everybody but uh, obviously there's if that resonates with you all uh, or whoever then that's that's happening to you as well so uh, artificial sweeteners you know corn syrup maltodextrin or whatever else that they use uh, there's 20 different names for corn uh, that you want to um, look at and then move away from that uh, even fruit you know, they're not really fruits, especially in the U.S. They're usually, um, I don't know, sh um, sugar water. Uh, so it's not really beneficial for you. So stay away from sugars and, and start uh, taking supplements. And uh, again, total human reset, that'll be beneficial for you. Um, where, 
um, where you can re say reinitiate uh, or foster uh, a healing uh, where your nerves can become more elastic. Okay, so uh, just one more call, guys, and then we'll switch over to uh, jealousy. We'll talk about jealousy uh, going through. Let's see. say um, well uh, there's so many things uh, coming in uh, I get uh, Jordan Excel really liked piece two thanks I have um, this one well I couldn't really understand your success. well I'll just pick Pick one here. Uh, this one, um, Sola, Soho, Soha, sorry. Uh, hi, Moss, can you help me? I really can't stand being around uh, and interacting with people. Uh, and for some reason, I don't want to be in my body either. Okay, so uh, really fantastic uh, where you are. So, um, and it's really fantastic. And again, it's like, well, what the hell, you know? But this is an XI uh, situation uh, where, you know, you don't like people. And because in the past, um, again, many of you are liked, and that's, that's why I wanted to pick this. So many of you who go through the XI process, especially if you're new, you might, you might feel that way. It's like, well, what the hell is going on? You know, this is about you know, feeling great and feeling wonderful. Well, to feel really wonderful, you know, say that you did a juice cleanse or a food cleanse or whatever kind of cleanse, right? Or even surgery, right? Uh, whatever surgery uh, and whatever was inside you, they, they, they cut it out. A tumor or, you know, plastic surgery, whatever. Uh, whatever that wasn't needed, they cut it out, right? And then you have recovery mode. So uh, you go do a juice cleanse, right, to clean out your body. You feel great for a little bit, and then, you know, you feel like shit because, well, everything's cleaning out. Everybody's, everything's, say, all the toxins are coming out of you. Uh, same thing with XI. Uh, it's just a very high, say, uh, frequency cleanser. Some of you might call it a spiritual cleanse where all the garbage that's inside you. And just think, it's not just your garbage. Uh, imagine that there was a house, that your family lived in, the first generation of your family, when your family tree started. And that house, they never took the garbage out. They never took the garbage out. It just kept piling up, piling up, and piling up until, well, to you. Uh, and that's what you're feeling. So, uh, you know, it, it comes up, excuse me, it comes up to you and, and or XI people, and then all that garbage, again, it's in the same house, from the beginning of your generation, hundreds of you know generations past, um, you're living in that same stuff. And then when you're born, uh, you you add your own little you know piece of garbage on, and then you pass it on to your kids, right? So that's why you know the kids that you know most people have, they turn out to be like their parents. Although we you know we, we go, I'm never gonna. Uh, be like my parents or I'm never going to treat my kids like my parents. Many uh, in society do the same thing. The reason why it's embedded in your system, it's embedded in your, say, or inherited in your DNA structure, your gene, genome. And what XI does is like, it looks at it, it's like, shit, this, this shit should have been cleaned out generations ago because, you know, humans don't evolve. We have a choice uh, and, and we'll for the most part, we've chosen at some level uh, to degrade ourselves, devolve, not evolve. So um, anyway, so so that's the science behind it. So now what's happening for you, so is that uh, all the patterns, all the people that were in you, for example, uh, and, and then, you know, when you're younger, um, <clears throat> you didn't really get the confidence or completeness or, you know, the, the you know, the love or, well, whatever. Uh, that you needed to support yourself as an independent individual. You know, you were always, say, degraded or cut down or undermined, basically. And, and as you were, uh, you know, other people, especially your mom or your aunt or, uh, and sisters, from what I'm seeing. Anyway, women, uh, even your friends nowadays. And, and you attract, by the way, feminine males. Um, yeah, you attract feminine males. So 
So, so, um, so, so all their garbage basically gets dumped into, gets, gets dumped into you. Okay. Since you've been doing XI, uh, and, and it's quite recent from what I'm seeing. So and it's like, you're going, it's like, shit, there's a lot of garbage around me. It's not even me. It's, this isn't even my house anymore, the body that I have. So now it's like all that stuff, say, leaving you, which is really fantastic. And as you do, it's like, you know, you're just basically going, so there's a huge party in your, in your body. Right. And it's like, shit, I'm getting sick of these people. Uh, and you're just kicking everybody out. So, uh, again, at first you might feel really bitchy. You might not people, you know, you might not like people around you because if there's people around you, you're just observing all their garbage. You know? You're the type of person that, you know, can walk into a room and, and they're crying or, or happy. And then you'll be crying or happy depending on the room, state of the room. Right. Or the state of uh, the group or the state of the world. Uh, and for the first time, you actually feel sane. Uh, although you might feel a little insane, so to speak, uh, because it's like, what the hell is happening? My mind is clear. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how to think because everybody else has been, say, ab you know, you absorb everybody else's thoughts. So you think your thoughts are yours. Um, you're, the, the reason why you don't like your body is because you're starting to understand. It's like, shit, you know, my hands are like my grandma's. My face is like, your face is actually part of your face. Uh, the right side is like of your father's. So if you really look, you have a distinct, say, profile. One profile doesn't really match this side. So your right side, your right profile doesn't match your left profile. So take a picture of your profile just to check it out and you go, shit, that's a two different people. Uh, because it is, you're right and you've always been split by the way, that's why you can't make decisions. Um, yeah, you can't make decisions, you get confused and if you do make a decision, uh, you switch it. Uh, because again, it's like a duplicate identity or multiple identities at some time. So all those patterns are leaving you. So you're getting to the point that it's like, shit, it's my body, I'm taking care of it, uh, and I'm gonna design it. So this is where, again, your facial features change, your, your muscular identity changes, your, uh, your chest or your ribs change. Uh, yeah, your ribs start to change, your rib cage actually starts to change because it's your body now, uh, not your grandma's, not your dad's, not your whatever, because most people, right? the mixture of hereditary genes, right? Uh, you're a mixture of all the people before you in your family. And now at the XI, and that's what XI does, especially with Total Human Reset, uh, you can actually delete or eliminate all those things and you choose the things that you wanna keep uh, of your family value structure or society structure, uh, and then uh, eliminate the things that you're not. And well, there's a lot of elimination going on for you. So really fantastic job. I would suggest doing the Total Human Reset project coming up to massively just get rid of all that garbage uh, so you can be on your own. Right. So um, 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 uh, as a note, a lot of old relationships will call you and try to reconnect with you because those people who have sucked the life out of you in the past, they're still sucking the life out of you. They're just not in a physical representation. So they'll call you and go, hey, what's going on? I'm really thinking of you. I want to get together with you. It's a it's a flat out no for you, okay? Uh, because they just want to, again, come back and suck the life out of you. So whether they're mom, dad, whoever it is, uh, again, they want to re-engage re to suck the life out of you now that you're stronger. So uh, again, that would be a big no for you.